guys it is Arika Misha and today we are getting ready to cook let me show you guys what we have here oh forgot to tell you today I am cooking shrimp mac and cheese yep you heard me right shrimp mac and cheese so we have our elbow noodles some regular Publix elbow noodles this is the uh, 16 ounce uh, one pound box that's all you're gonna need and we've got our shredded mild cheddar Publix cheese. Yeah, I've got about six bags of those because y'all know cheese just melts down anyway. So I've got six bags of those. And this is the eight ounce bag. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to go with the mild cheddar. I'm just doing one cheese, mild cheddar. And we have our shrimp. Of course, y'all know they've been seasoned marinated overnight I seasoned these yesterday yes look at those shrimp and I went with the medium shrimp didn't want to do the big shrimp for this um, so you guys will see how I fix it and the only thing I put on my <clears throat> the only thing I put on the shrimp is the uh, Old Bay let me show you guys that the Old Bay seasoning I just put the Old Bay, I'm sorry, Old Bay seasoning on the shrimp and of course parsley chai. Y'all know he had to get, y'all know how he do. So that's all I put on the shrimp. So didn't want to over season, didn't want to do too much. So all right, shrimp mac and cheese coming up. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm back and the first thing I want to do, I've got my noodles over there boiling as you guys can see in the background. The first thing I want to do is I want to make my cheese sauce. I'm going to be making a cheese sauce just so you guys know. So, Alright, first thing I want to do, I want to get my stove cut on. Maybe I want to do that, just maybe. Alright, and we got, I'm going to put in here one tablespoon of butter. Let you guys see that. Throw my noodles up back here. All right, we've got one tablespoon of butter in there. Butter. All right, and I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of flour. Butter in there. One tablespoon of butter. Oh, we some flour down here. All right, so we got one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour. All right, wait on my stove to get hot so we can get that all mixed up. Okay. All right, let's cut that heat down. We don't need it all hot, hot. Make sure y'all can see. Uh, can't really see yet, but melting my butter and my flour together, making like a little, a little cheese roux, a little roux. Get that butter and flour all melted together. Let me see. Y'all can see. Okay. All right, okay, just wanna make sure you all can see. Okay, so we got our one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour, get that all mixed up. Let me get rid of that, that's a little big, but. All right. Okay, we got that all mixed up. And my noodles. Okay, now let's pour in two and a half cups of milk. I've got one cup of milk in there. Two cups of milk. And a half, two and a half cups. All right, that's my half. Two and a half cups of milk. That's what we've got in there. All right, and for your seasons, whatever, however you choose to uh, season your sauce, your cheese sauce, that's up to you. I'm doing one tablespoon 
I'm doing one tablespoon of garlic pepper. And this is just me seasoning my um, cheese sauce. And I'm going to do one tablespoon of uh, seasoned salt. You know, the all purpose seasoned salt. Just going to do one tablespoon of that. And I'm going to do one tablespoon of parsley. Y'all know parsley. You got to. One tablespoon of parsley. Get that in there. Get us some greenery going. Make it all nice and pretty. All right, let me get my seasons put away. All right, we got those put away. See how our noodles doing back there? Y'all know these noodles cook fast. Whoop. Not quite done yet. All right, let's get our sauce mixed up. Let's get our Le Rouge mixed up. And repeat that one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour. Blend those two together. You add two and a half cups of milk, whatever milk you want to use, two and a half cups of milk. Um, I did one tablespoon of garlic pepper, one tablespoon of all purpose seasoning. And you also you can also add one tablespoon of oil bay, old bay, but um, I seasoned my shrimp with the old bay, so that's why I didn't add the old bay to this. So we'll get this all mixed up real good. Make sure we get those flour chunks all broken down, and then we're gonna add our cheese. Make like a little cheesy sauce. This all blended up real good. Let me get my heat back up. Because I need this hot, hot. Before I add that cheese. Make sure you're scraping your sides. Getting those seasons all mixed up. This is the heart of the mac and cheese. You know, you got to get that cheese sauce made just right make sure everything all blended scraping my sides here okay it's looking all nice and blended we just don't want no chunks of flour anywhere so i don't see any more in here so it looks like they all mixed up here. Let me check on my noodles real quick. They looking good. Getting done. Let's see how our noodles are doing back here. Okay. Noodles are done. Drain my noodles real quick. All right. Draining my noodles back here. Okay, as you can see, our cheese sauce is uh, really hot. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese. While everything's all nice and hot, hold on, y'all. Uh -oh. Gotta get my cheese. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start with four bags and see if I need to add more cheese. All right, we got our first bag. Let's cut our heat down some. Get our cheese in there. We got one bag. Okay, y'all can see. We got one bag of cheese in there. Okay, let me get my scissors because I don't have time to play with this cheese. Okay. All right, we got two bags of cheese in there. Okay. 
let's do our third bag and then let's get this mixed up get that all nicely mixed up and blended want to make a cheese sauce we're not adding any eggs to this we don't need eggs I'm gonna change change to something else that's stronger that can mix for me because that little mixer was just a little too flimsy yeah, I need, I need something that's going to get in here and mix it and not scratch my pot. Yeah, this is what we got right here. Oh, yeah. That's looking real good. Make sure it stays hot for that cheese to melt. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's looking real good. And get it mixed, mixed, mixed real good. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. And I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. All right, let's see what we're gonna add. I think I'm gonna do another cup of milk. Let me get my heat down. You don't need the heat too high. I'm adding another cup of milk because it's too thick so I need to add more milk adding two more cups of milk actually because like I said depends on how much cheese you add so I've added two more cups because we want this all nice and smooth and milky we don't want it too thick Yeah, we don't want it too thick. Let me see. See how we doing? Want it a little creamier. See, yeah, we don't want it too thick. We want it nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. That's what we want. Let me see. Okay. That's good. Yeah, see, that's better. That's a lot loose. A lot creamier. A lot creamier. Preheating my oven to 450. No, I'm sorry, 350. Okay, all right, this is good. This is nice and loose enough and creamy enough. That's how we want it. That's how we want it. So I ended up adding two more cups of milk, probably because I did three bags of cheese. So. Alright, so, our noodles added, our noodles are ready, we're going to cut our heat down to medium heat, and let's go ahead and get our noodles added here, slowly get those noodles added in here. All our noodles. Alright, we got our new dough added. Alright. Get everything together over here in this sink. I like to clean as I go. Clean as I go. Alright, y'all still there? Okay, good. Y'all in the pot. Alright, so we're just gonna mix our noodles in here. See how it's still nice and creamy. That's what we want. We don't want it all thick. That's not what we're going for today. Nice and creamy. Yes. That's what we want. 
nice and creamy. And that cheese sauce is all nicely seasoned. See, this is what you want. You want it all nice. Let me bring y'all in. You want it? Let me show y'all. Hold on one second. You want it nice and creamy. This is what you want. You want it all nice and soupy, creamy. This is what you want. Let me get my noodles stirred in real good. And then we're going to go ahead and add the shrimp. Get our noodles mixed in here real good. Scraping the bottom of our pan. Making sure we got everything scraped up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so good. Look at that, y'all. Oh, that's going to be so good. All right, so now we're going to add our shrimp. Okay. Shrimp. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Shrimp out the refrigerator. Okay, let me get y'all back so y'all can see. I'm getting ready to add the shrimp to this pot. Okay. I'm saving some shrimp because I want to put some shrimp across the top. We've got plenty of shrimp in here. Plenty. And don't forget our shrimp is seasoned with oil bay. With old bay. Yes. It's seasoned with the old bay. So that's going to be adding that old bay flavor to our mac and cheese. I like to season my shrimp with the old bay. Cut our heat off. We've got our shrimp mix in there all nice and good. Oh, tell me that don't look amazing. Y'all know I got to take y'all into the pot. Tell me that does not look good. With the shrimp. Oh, my goodness. Oh, looks amazing. With those chunks of shrimp throughout oh all mixed in with that mac and cheese mm. oh my god it tastes so good it tastes so good mm. I like tasting the cheese sauce seeing if there's anything else I need to add nope I don't need to add another thing not another thing oh my goodness that's all nicely seasoned. I can taste that old bay, that garlic. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna shift y'all over here because we're not done yet. Hold on, hold on. All right, let me get y'all zoomed out so y'all can see what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so now we're gonna be dumping the mac and cheese in our pan. That's what we're going to be doing. Pouring it in our pan. We just panning it up. Get all that goodness in there. All of that goodness. Yes. Get all of that goodness in there. Ooh -wee. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, it's going to be so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all see it. I'm going to zoom y'all in so y'all can see it. Cut my water off. Oh my goodness. So good. All right. So, all right. Get down in there, shrimp. Get down. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all. That looks so good. Take it all in just a little bit because I got to add some more to this. All right. So, Gonna go ahead. I'm adding more cheese across the top. You now you gotta put that top layer of cheese across the top. Gotta do it. Shrimp mac and cheese. And you know what? I think about it. You can add whatever kind of meat you want to to mac and cheese. I've done the roast. I've done the smoked ham. 
Um, I will make sure I link that <clears throat> video in the description box for you guys to click on. I have done the uh, smoked ham mac and cheese. And I was like, you know what? You can do chicken mac and cheese, turkey mac and cheese, any kind of meat you want. Sausage, turkey sausage. I mean, there's so much. You can add any kind of meat you want to mac and cheese. I mean, and I was like, you know what? I love shrimp. I love shrimp. I was like, that's perfect. Shrimp mac and cheese. Shrimp mac and cheese. I mean, come on now. Shrimp mac and cheese. Oh, y'all see it. Now, let me get parsley because we got to put some parsley across the top. But one, oh, one thing I want to do first. Add a little parsley across the top. Because you know parsley, what he got to do. He got to come in. You know, put the icing on the cake. All right, now. Let me show y'all what I'm doing with these extra shrimp. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Ooh -wee. You can't tell me that don't look good. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that. You can try. You can try to tell me that don't look good. But I know it looks good. Shrimp mac and cheese. Ain't that something? Shrimp mac and cheese. Oh my god. Ooh wee. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Oh my god. All right, y'all. That looks amazing. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to put a little bit more parsley across the top top of them shrimp so everybody can be getting along mm. bringing y'all in i'm gonna bring y'all over so y'all can see it uh oh look at it taking y'all in look at the shrimp macaroni and cheese oh my god all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and get in the oven and it's gonna be the grand finale when i come back all right 350 degrees and you know what i'm gonna probably put it in there i'm gonna see about I'll see. I want to do about 20 to 30 minutes, but I'll let y'all know. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. The shrimp mac and cheese is out of the oven. I am taking y'all in. Look at that. Look at that goodness. I'm telling you. It is amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all see the shrimp. I'm taking y'all in. Oh, my God. Woo-wee. Shrimp mac and cheese. And you know what? It tastes so good. It tastes amazing. Y'all know how I know it tastes amazing? I gotta show y'all. Ooh, I done dug in the mac and cheese already. <laughs> Child, I done dug in the mac and cheese already. I just could not. When I took it out of the oven, I just had to get some. Y'all don't do that. Y'all, at least I showed y'all. <laughs> Look, y'all thought it was the whole pan. No, no, no. I, I ate some. I, I had to get some. I, I just could not. Y'all know I'm greedy. I just could not. Whew. Well, at least I came back and showed y'all. So, all right, y'all. You seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Bye.